Hey guys, Max with Hobby King back here for another product profile and today we have Quantum's new 3D multi-rotor flight controller, the Mad Cow. So as usual with product profiles, we're going to take you through what comes in the box. We're going to talk about the flight controller, all the different flight modes that are available. We're going to talk about the software that you're going to use to set up the flight controller. Then we're going to take it out for some flying and I'm going to walk you through all the different available flight modes. Now, when we take it out for some flying, it's going to be me piloting the Chaotic, and I will admit I am not the greatest 3D pilot in the world, but I will be able to show you what this flight, flight controller can do when inside one of our new Chaotic 3D quads. All right, so first, when you get your Mad Cow flight controller, it comes in this box. When you open it up, first thing you're gonna see is obviously your flight controller. You'll also get a micro USB cable that you can use for programming. You get some double-sided tape for mounting your flight controller. And you also get a variety of cables to plug in to your flight controller for your different receivers. Now looking at the flight controller close up, you'll notice that the Mad Cow can accept a wide range of receivers. You can use S-Bus receivers, CPPM, you can plug a DSM satellite directly into it, and you also have your regular port up front here if you want to use a PWM or full-size receiver. You also get on the side your micro USB port and then your inputs from your ESCs. So that's it for the hardware portion on the Mad Cow. Really simple little flight controller, but it is super effective and super awesome to use. You can pretty much plug anything you want into here receiver wise. So now we're going to walk you through the software. I have it loaded up on my laptop and we'll talk you through all the different features that you can unlock in there. All right, so we have our Mad Cow flight controller hooked up to the software. As you can see, have everything moving. Now the first page is, like it says, just a status page. So it'll give you the current roll and pitch, your current flight mode, and whether the flight controller is disarmed or not. And from here, if you click that big calibration button, that will calibrate your accelerometer. Now if you click over to the second tab that's frame, this is where you'll do your frame selection. We have the flight controller set up on our Chaotic, and that's a X quad, so we have that first one selected. But you can do up to hexacopters, and different tricopters, so a bunch of different frame options here. Now moving into the RC section, this is where you'll calibrate your transmitter and set up your switches for your flight modes. I have it hooked up to the Orange T6 that comes with the ready to fly one. You can see it all moving and we have our different flight controller selections and arming and disarming. And here also you can do your flight, uh, your transmitter calibration. Next, if we move over to the parameter tab, this is where you can adjust your ESCs and this flight controller doesn't have to only use reversible ESCs, it can use regular ESCs also and has an option for a one-shot 125 firmware, as you can see right here. So super easy to change that. And now when you're setting up for 3D, this is where you can set your dead band in the middle here and your throttle minimum and maximum. So that would be for your 3D when you're reversing, it'll be that dead section in the middle. Now inside the parameter tab, you have the ESC tab, this full parameters tab here which is for adjusting your attitude uh, rates and your yaw rates. Again, something for your different flight modes, which we'll get into in a little bit. And then you have your gains tab, which is all your different PID settings. Two settings, you have simple and expert. The expert one is for you guys that want to get into and tune all the different PIDs. And the simple one has been working really well for us. I haven't even touched it. So super easy to set up if you don't want to go too crazy. Now you can also click over to the update tab and when there's different firmware updates or firmware upgrades, you can update your flight controller from right here in this tab. All right, so now that we've gone through the basics of the Mad Cow GUI, as you can see, it's super simple and easy to set up and use. We're gonna walk you through the five different flight modes that you have available with the Mad Cow. They are tipping mode, grilling mode, veal mode, slaughterhouse mode, and Mad Cow mode. Now those might sound a little crazy, but they're just going with the theme of the Mad Cow flight controller and they're actually very easy to set up and I'm gonna to explain to you what they work with here on our RC screen and what they reference to. So the first flight mode here is gonna be tipping mode, which corresponds to a simple acro mode or in the GUI, it's 2D rate mode. Now, as you can see here, when I'm flying, you have zero to 100% throttle range, so no uh, motor reversing here and you can just do your basic aerobatics. There's no self level or stabilization here. It's pretty much a full manual flight mode. However, it still flies really well. Do your basic flips and rolls, 
but again, no 3D or reversing motors in this mode. Now, the second mode is gonna be grilling mode, and this corresponds to a stabilized acro mode, and in the GUI, this is gonna be 2D ratitude mode. So in this fly mode, as you can see, with me flying around the center of the stick, on your right stick, you have self-level and stabilization. However, when you get away from the center of the stick, you have a full acro quad. So it'll give you similar features to the first mode tipping mode, but it will give you that safety of stabilization in the middle of your stick. Now there's no 3D in this mode, again, just zero to 100% throttle, no motor reversing in this mode here. So the third flight mode that you have available for you is called veal mode. Now this is a stabilized flight mode that corresponds to 2D attitude mode in the GUI. Now this won't give you any kind of flipping or rolling capability and the angle of the quad is limited as you can see in the flight footage. Even at full stick, the chaotic cannot go too far in your angle and it also gives you self-stabilization. Now the one nice thing about veal mode is that it can also be used as a bailout mode. So if you were to set this as one of your other flight modes and then be flying 3D or you get disoriented in any way, you can flip into veal mode and it will right your quad right away, whether it's upside down or facing the wrong way. And I showed you a few demos of that in the flight footage. So the fourth flight mode is where we get into the fun flight modes. The fourth flight mode is slaughterhouse mode. Now that corresponds to a full 3D mode and will be 3D rate mode in the GUI. Now this is a full acro 3D mode where you get motor reversing from zero to 50% throttle and then above 50% to 100%, you get normal motor rotation. So you can do full inverted flight, flips and rolls and hold the quad inverted. You can see me doing some of that right now. There is no stabilization in this mode at all. It gives you the full performance of the quad and again with the motor reversing. So now with slaughterhouse mode, someone with a little more skill, a little more skill than me, as you can see right here, we have a good 3D pilot putting the chaotic to the test. This mode is where you can do it. You can really push it around and I'll really show you the performance of your quad and the flight controller. Now the fifth flight mode is gonna be mad cow mode. Now that corresponds to a 3D stabilized mode or in the GUI is gonna be 3D ratitude mode. So now this mode still gives you the reversing ESCs from zero to 50 and the normal rotation from 50 to 100. However, it does give you stabilization around center stick. So this would be a great mode to be in if you're learning to 3D or learning to fly inverted. You have that self stabilization around center. But once you get out of the center stick area, you do have a full 3D capable quad. So again, great for learning, great for someone wanting to try out 3D with multi rotors. So as you guys can see, the GUI for the Mad Cow is very simple and very easy to use, but gives you a lot of power in changing all the different parameters for the flight controller. Now, one thing I just wanted to mention is to make sure that you click the save button down here in the right hand corner when you do change anything, because that is the only way to save your changes to the flight controller. So that wraps it up for the Mad Cow 3D multi-rotor flight controller. As you guys can see, it is super easy to set up. You will not find an easier to set up 3D flight controller on the market. It has a 32-bit processor, can accept DSM, SBUS, CPPM, pretty much compatible with any system you can find, and comes in this super compact package. You can find it on the new items page, alone by itself. You can find it in a chaotic, which is also on the new items page. And make sure you guys subscribe to Hobby King Live and stay tuned for more product profiles.